Matteo did it again. He added yet another function to his IP adapter. This time it's a combined style and composition node. Um, the IP adapter version 2 was launched just over a week ago and here it is in my workflow. It is a stack and the new thing is that there was now an advanced node which gave us a bit more options to tweak and one of those options to tweak a day later was the style transfer option very nice to work with and just three days later uh, this composition option was added to it and not only that there was also added together with that composition option the combined style and composition node and already in the version 2 we had this unified loader which gave us a, a very handy drop down selection uh, such that in the background it uh, gathers all the needed models and you don't have to worry uh, what is what it is all combined in background the only thing that you need to take care of now if you want to use that unified model loader is this text here that you need to use the file names exactly as described below which means uh, you have to download these models and do not uh, give them different names than stated here otherwise the unified loader cannot find them once we took care of all that we now have an IP adapter with style and composition with just two nodes. Uh, what you do is load a image for the composition and connect it to the composition input. Load another image or the same image uh, for style connected to the style input and then give both of them a weight which can be different for each of them and then this is in this example what comes out that's just incredible i like it a lot and this gives so many possibilities yes of course we can also do this with control net and that works fine and we even have a little bit more uh, room to play with a depth model or a canny model or any other model uh, but that, uh, that requires a whole new control net set of nodes and this is just quite convenient just two nodes and you have everything you need uh, wait didn't we already have this composition option yeah the whole previous video was about that but one day later Matteo came with this uh, option inside IP adapter uh, it worked quite well with that composition uh, model that you need to download separately and then you just use two IP adapters in series and yeah we had that example of a very rudimentary uh, composition image and then a style image and then we asked for a geisha in a Japanese garden and this comes out that is great I of course tried the same now uh, not using this special composition model but the new composition option inside the IP adapter itself and that did not work very great it adopted the style at least the colors are uh, okay uh, and the geisha is in the correct position but there's no Japanese garden to be seen anywhere so I decided to try real images and that works a little bit better the prompt over here is geisha in a Japanese garden painted by Willem Hanraas in watercolor style then the composition image is yeah the girl the, the geisha here in the middle maybe holding her dress a little bit and then a style image with rather green cold colors and look what comes out the composition is okay i put the value on 1.2 you can play with that value if you don't want her to hold her dress but give the ip adapter a bit more freedom then lower that value what comes out is just what we wanted this composition with this style <laughs> i think it is fantastic
Okay, let's do another try. The same composition, but now a different style. And look what happens. We get exactly that composition, but now with another set of colors. And also this pagoda over there. We, we get little pagodas here and there. So that style is quite nicely adopted and even a little bit of the contents. Let's now keep the style image the same, but let's change the composition to this little girl and also change the prompt to schoolgirl in anime style. And look what comes out. We get a schoolgirl in anime style in that position with this color scheme. It's just great. Uh, let's now keep the composition the same, but change the style. And look what happens. Uh, uh, the same uh, girl in the same composition, the same position, but with a completely different color scheme. <laughs> it's just fantastic. It, it listens to the prompt and the composition and the style all mixed together. Let's do a completely different example. Uh, a house on a cliff, a photograph, then a drawing of a modern villa uh, on a cliff. And uh, the question in the prompt is an architectural drawing of a beach house. Uh, and this is what comes out. It's, it's great. It, it, it does exactly what we want it to do. Let's now change that composition to a completely different one. Uh, still a photograph, but we get out an architectural drawing uh, in this color scheme, but with more or less the composition of that photograph. It is just fantastic. Here is our Chinese girl again and a cyborg and what we ask for in the prompt is a female cyborg. And uh, yeah, it is just great what comes out. It follows the composition, it follows the style, it looks great. And another example, same composition, totally <laughs> crazy style image. And look what happens, that is, yeah. Uh, it couldn't be better, I think. And um, another style image and yeah, we get the correct color scheme. Uh, you would ne never even imagine that uh, of a picture like this and an, a watercolor image like this, you could get a cyborg, uh, but it is possible. All right, well, this was another one, uh, another composition and another style image and it adheres to both uh, greatly. Uh, it is just uh, so much fun to play with. So let's go back to our uh, first image that uh, uh, was at the beginning of this video, a charcoal colored wet wash couple in love. Well, we, we, we see what happens. We have a, a composition image and a, a charcoal style image. And then what comes out is exactly what you expect. And we have not even played with all these parameters over here. Uh, there's so much fun to be had with this. Matteo, thank you very much for making this a big thumbs up.